Are you looking to optimize your accounts payable processes and enhance your bottom line? We've got five cutting edge strategies that streamline accounts payable operations, reduce costs, and drive sustained financial benefits. All require a small investment of time or money and outlay that will be repaid many times over. Learn how to transform your accounts payable function into a powerhouse of efficiency and profitability. Make sure you stick around until the end when we discuss the one in one of the enhancements you can no longer afford to ignore let's get started with the one that can cost less than a hundred dollars while saving countless hours time that could be spent doing some value-add process improvements or analytics accounts payable enhancement number one get all your invoice processes and for that matter everyone who works in accounts payable two screens for their computer when COVID hit at AP Now, we did a survey after a few months asking our members who are accounting and accounts payable professionals, controllers, people like that, what they missed most about the office. Leading the way were people saying they missed their co-workers and their staff. But right on the heels of that were people, numerous people, who said they missed having the two screens on their computer. It makes it easier for them to work, especially if they're processing the invoices, where they can look at the invoice on one screen and do the data entry on the other. Likewise, they need otherwise they need to flip back and forth between the two screens, taking longer with each in invoice and increasing the odds of them making a data entry mistake. As accounts payable departments everywhere proceed down the digital transformation journey, two screens are likely to become the de facto norm and they don't cost that much. A quick internet research revealed that many are on sale for less than $100. Accounts payable enhancement number two, correcting addresses where invoices are sent. And by addresses, we not only mean physical mailing addresses, but also email addresses. Taking the time to make this correction can address two major league headaches in accounts payable. Invoices sent to the wrong place and invoices sent multiple times to multiple parties. But it can seem like you're wasting valuable time, time that could be spent doing more value added tasks. But let me explain. Yes, it can be time consuming to either call or email suppliers asking them to send invoices to one and only one address and then giving it to them but if this investment of time means they send only one copy of an invoice and they send it to the right place the time spent dealing with wayward invoices will be reduced drastically plus you don't run the risk of making a duplicate payment when they send multiple copies of the same invoice to more than one location and or one party be aware though that this task is like pulling weeds just when you get rid of the problem in one area it pops up someplace else. You can solve the problem of duplicate copies of invoices from a particular supplier, and then the person responsible for your account um, moves on and another person takes over. The new person comes up with a brilliant solution to make sure you have their invoice, you got it, by sending multiple copies of the same copy, the same invoice, and then you have to start all over again, but it's worth doing it. My hope, and we appear to be headed in that direction, is that we will get to the point where all invoices are delivered either by email or through an automation portal solution. When this happens, the, invo the issue of invoices being spent both by email and snail mail disappears. Then you'll only have to deal with the issue of invoices being sent to multiple people. Accounts payable enhancement number three. Over three quarters of all accounts payable groups in the United States are responsible for issuing 1099s primarily in January. A truly thankless task. They are primarily responsible for the two forms known as the 1099 MISC and the 1099 NEC. These ubiquitous tax form reporting forms are governed by a very precise set of rules issued by the IRS. Make one tiny mistake and you'll find yourself either with an irate recipient demanding a correction, which has its own set of rules and procedures, or a dreaded B notice is about a discrepancy. As you can probably guess by this point, responding to those, e those B notices also has a precise set of rules. Even worse, there are penalties associated with the B notices. And best practice advice is to try and have these penalties and fines abated so that you do not have a history of what the tax experts call non-compliance with the IRS. And that takes time and effort. If this wasn't troublesome enough, 
enough, every year the IRS tweaks the forms and rules with the goal of getting better and more accurate data. We can't blame them for this, but that means almost every single year something changes. And sometimes a lot of things change, like the year when we had the introduction of the 1099-NEC. To avoid unpleasantness with both the IRS and the recipient of these forms, it is a good idea to stay updated on the most current changes, which come out on a sporadic basis, often just a few weeks or months before the forms have to be issued. This can make it quite challenging for the staff responsible for issuing 1099. Do you feel exhausted? just by hearing me talk about it? I do, and I understand. That's why best practice organizations make sure that every year they put some money in the budget for, for training the staff responsible for issuing these forms. The annual 1099 review of updates and changes, as well as a review of the current processes, is a small investment of time and money that is well worth it if you avoid the aggravation of dealing with unhappy contractors and IRS forms. Accounts Payable Enhancement number 4. Update contact information in the master vendor file is another truly thankless task, and to be honest, many skip it. Part of the reason they don't bother it is, is it is so hard to get suppliers to respond, so it can seem like a big time waster, especially when only something like 10% of all suppliers respond when asked to update this information. To be fair, until the last few years, it was probably it probably was fine not to update this information. But with the explosion of those phony please change my bank account emails and the need to verify every single one to make sure they came from a legitimate source, that has changed. As those watching this are probably painfully aware, doing these verifications can take a bit of time and few accounts payable departments have extra time. Yet, if these requests are not verified, a phony request can sneak through and the damage that one phony email that goes unrecognized can do can be in the millions of dollars. That's why it's a good idea to take the time and update the contact information in the vast vendor file so when one of those phony requests comes in, you can identify it quickly without spending an inordinate amount of time doing so. Every organization should invest the time at least once a year to update as much of the contact information in the master vendor file as possible. For if you don't, and one of your employees is having a difficult time finding someone at your one of your supplier's offices to confirm a change, they may unintentionally send the funds to the address in the fraudulent email. The likelihood of this increases if the last 100 emails that they have come have that have come in and they've verified have all been valid and there is a time crunch and criminals are really good at estimating when you are going to have a time crunch. Accounts payable enhancement number five, invoice or accounts payable automation. A lot has changed in the last few years when it comes to automation in the accounts payable space. It is no longer prohibitively expensive for all but the largest of companies. In fact, in some cases, it's damn right cheap. And I say this in a good way. It can be a real bargain, which is why you can't afford to ignore it. There are many options on the market today with an option for every pocketbook. I believe we are fast approaching the point where every organization will use some sort of automation solution in their, solution in their accounts payable space in the same way every organization has a computer on the desk of every professional working in accounts payable and no one would think of doing any sort of numerical analysis without opening a spreadsheet. We believe this issue is so important we recently put together a video with the information you need to get started and, and enhance an existing automation program for your accounts payable function. You can watch it right now using the link that has appeared on your YouTube screen and is in the description. Good luck.